them. All right, let's take you out to California. Uh, in the Sacramento area, they've got a high school called Indicum High School. They've got a teacher there by the name of Gabriel Geip. Now, he is, in the high school, he is a government teacher. So you might think, okay, he's prominently got an American flag on the wall. He's prominently got an Antifa flag on the wall. He says he's probably as far left as you can go. And he says, I've got, essentially, I've got one school year to turn these kids into revolutionaries. And then when asked about the flag, the Antifa flag, he says it's meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable. So if you feel uncomfortable, I really don't know what to tell you. Maybe you shouldn't be aligning with the values. And he also is telling people to go to these protests, go to Antifa protests, go to yeah. all these far extreme left protests, and I'll give you extra credit. Great. But then when one of the students, a former student, asked if he could have extra credit for going to a pro-life event, the teacher said no. No surprise. Here he is. He caught by the Project Veritas. Uh, so listen to these so-called so surveillance video. Like, I, I have an Antifa flag on my on my wall. Um, and a student complained about that, and he said it made him feel uncomfortable. And I, had, I addressed it to everyone because I didn't know who it was. And I was like, well, this is meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable. So if you feel uncomfortable, I, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> like, maybe you shouldn't be aligning with the, the values that it, this is antithetical to. I have 180 days to turn them into revolutionaries. How do you do that? How do you scare the out of them? And it looks like he met the Project Veritas people at a coffee shop. Uh, Brandon is the name of a former student of his who is conservative and talked to Fox and Friends and said, as a former student of Mr. Gipes, I can attest to the authenticity of the statements being made about his classroom. The first day in his class, I saw the Antifa flag along with other far left posters and immediately knew this was going to be a rough year. The only way to earn extra credit in his class was by participating in political efficacy, events that were chosen by him. That's to your point, Ainsley. These events were always extremely far left and supported topics such as abortion, defunding the police, etc. I voiced my concerns about these issues to other teachers and administrators and nothing was ever done. Probably protected by the union. Don't know if they've got a union, but so far, uh, no action has been taken by the school district. No, because he said the majority of the teachers there are so left. He said that he was forced over the four years of being at that school to hide his conservative views because he was fearful of retaliation. Right. He also he said, said that uh, he, he knows of at least three other teachers at the school that are on the same page as him. But think about it. Here's a guy who is being paid to teach government. What government is he teaching? I, you know, we saw the two walls of his classroom. We saw the Antifa flag. I did not see an American flag in that American classroom. He said they had an, an abortion debate in one of their classes, and it was three kids that were pro-life against the rest of the kids. There were 30 kids that were against him and two other friends. And he said that those, the majority started screaming at those three kids so much that it forced one of them into tears and decided to change their view, and they went to the other side to avoid being yelled at. Here's uh, what the Unified School District said. He said, we understand that parents in the Natomas community members have expressed their concern about the contents of this video. We respect and recognize the expressions of concern. Uh, the, Unif uh, the, the Thomas Unified, as always, will look into this matter and take any appropriate action as necessary. District policy explicitly states whenever civic education includes topics that may be controversial due to political beliefs or other influences, instruction shall be presented in a balanced manner that does not promote any particular viewpoint. That is always the expectations. Now, I don't know of a, a unified school district without a union, but I imagine a union would go to bat for him and try to protect him. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to sleep at night, but they might. Well, even even if the union does protect him because it's such a liberal area, then they at least need to allow the kids to get extra credit no matter what side of the aisle they're on. They're on and they're, right. they should be able to go to different protests on both sides and I, get the extra credit. I, and fire this guy uh, if, if you stand for anything. But you, you, you probably won't. Well, he doesn't seem to be just giving his opinion. He seems to be pushing Antifa as a central core of the curriculum. And is that what they hired that guy for? The school district, I'm sure we will hear more from them in the coming week. Isn't uh, Keith Ellison pro Antifa? And he's the attorney general of Minnesota. So maybe uh, it is acceptable. Who knows? All right. Uh, so that's some of the news going on right now. 